Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I have invented the five minute meeting. All right. Ashland City Council meeting of March 2nd. This one starts off by saying, uh, hey, the Ashland Senior Services Division is helping to facilitate vaccines. For over 65 year old seniors, you can sign up at ashland.or.us slash senior. And then uh, the city manager recruitment firm introduction. Boy, the guy from Peckham and McKinney. Oh, he stopped by for some input and suggestions. And he said, he said, hey, don't get stuck on this master's degree requirement and, and the 10 year minimum experience requirement. That's troublesome because every city manager in the country knows that the, this city cycles through city managers for whatever reason pretty quick. So be aware of that reputation. And then this one goes, she goes, hey, uh, that's right. So let's change that. Uh, uh, for a 10-year requirement to a 5 to 10-year requirement. And then this guy goes, he goes, yeah, that's a, that's five years of minimum service as a city manager, right? And the crew, recruitment guy goes, goes, uh, uh, not exactly what it says here. It's kind of, and she goes, all right, thanks for all your input and stuff. We're going to vote now and let's vote for it. And all approved. And then a public forum. Oh, the city housing lady went to public forum. Uh, she says, maps. The floodplain map is a problem. Why? I didn't follow her logic, but uh, she wanted council to fix that. And then the local rabble rouser, uh, George Kramer, you all know him. He says, I restore buildings for a living and Pioneer Hall in the community center can be repaired pretty simply. Me and others have offered to donate our time and work to help, uh, but the city staff keeps just blowing us off. So once again, I'm here just offering help fix those two buildings for free as much as I can. So so I just say it. And then this guy goes, he goes, uh, I have a question. And... Uh, she goes, ah, no questions in public forum. And then the city manager's report, uh, he said, uh, oh, it's exciting. Uh, new rent relief money from the state uh, just happened for landlords, and it's only a two-week window, so check out the city website and the Chamber of Commerce website. And then he said something about state housing code changes about land use are coming in June, something's happening there. And then there are water and sewer rates changes are a coming. And uh, this guy goes, hey, I have, a, I have another question about something unrelated. And this guy this guy goes, hey, I don't think you can, you can ask a question. He can't ask that question. I insist he stop and ask for a vote to say that he's stop asking this question at this point. And uh, she goes, uh, I, I'm gonna allow it, but you, seriously, you want to vote? Okay, uh, well, let's have a vote. Nobody agreed with that guy. And so he goes, okay, so uh, back to my question. Uh, What's up with the number of letters from the sewer inspection uh, insurance company that everyone's getting uh, for all the citizens? And then the city guy goes, he goes, yeah, that number of contacts wasn't specified in our contract, so it got out of hand. They contacted too many people. To, uh, lesson learned, right? And then consent agenda. Oh, well, something was on there, and that was approved. And then the city finance supplemental budget discussion. So this guy goes, hey, so what's the breakdown again? Like I talked last meeting, uh, uh, 1.2 million for last year extra, and then this we need 500,000 extra. So what What are those uh, insurance expenses for? And the finance director in the city guy goes, oh, oh yeah, you wanted the details on what that was spent on. Oh boy, yeah, that's totally new. We had we had no, you want like, so you want like details? Huh, boy, we, we didn't even expect that. And then, uh, so these two go, these two go, oh, well, uh, you, you guys have explained that you're, you're gonna not do that again in the future and as long as you guys don't do these rate increases in the future. I think we're we're good with that. And this guy goes, ah, I'm going to approve this supplemental budget, but I I need an explanation for all these uh, for all the expenses uh, before uh, you know after the meeting sometime. And so and this one goes, I I move that we approve the supplemental budget, and uh, uh, it's approved five to zero. But this guy just wasn't there. Right? Was, is it a bladder issue or a political tactic? I don't know. I don't know why he just disappeared. And then, oh, the uh, uh, TOT tax, uh, hotel tax, uh, hotel tax. Uh, you know, 70% like can be used on anything, but 30% is restricted to tourism, I think. And usually it goes to travel, Oregon, and uh, public art stuff and, and some things. And uh, there's lots of various uh, things. This money you has gone to and historically it went to future parking solutions and stuff. And this one goes, uh, she goes, hey, I move it, uh, uh, that for ECTS programs be retained at $80,000 per year from this hotel tax money for two years. And uh, I think that's the money that all the local nonprofits apply for every year. And uh, so then that, they, they approve that. And then, but then I think there's a lot more hotel tax money that wasn't decided upon. Uh, but uh, uh, this guy jumps in and goes, hey, uh, I move that anything the city staff proposed should be approved because they have, I said it again, they have already sliced and diced this.
Right, let's say that. And so uh, all that TOT extra tax distribution was approved. To what exactly? Man, eh, mind your own business. I have no idea. And then racial and uh, race and uh, social equity commission. Boy, that's uh, still uh, you know trying to figure that out. And the city manager says we need to uh, write an ordinance to create this commission, so we need more input. And then there's public forum from the lawyers for justice lady. She says, ah, oh, we need this commission. And he made a bunch of other important points about that. And then the city attorney says, oh, there's like a list of 15 things to consider. And uh, but I need to, I need to answer questions uh, before I can write the ordinance because to, to create this commission because I'm, uh, I'm not unclear unclear on stuff. And then this one goes. She goes, hey, uh, so all right, let's go through the questions. You guys ready? And uh, oh, this whole thing devolved into this like a. Uh, it's like it's a round of competitive speech making and confusion from the city attorney. And uh, apparently the mayor uh, had a basic outline for the uh, commission uh, ordinance and the city attorney wanted more information. And there are two camps. The one camp says we need to get more information into this ordinance so it's more specific about what this commission's about. And the other group is like, let we just make it really vague and then let's make this commission and let them kind of figure out what they kind of want to focus on. And uh, so they clarified a bunch of points and they basically said this committee commission's gonna be like other committees. And then the city attorney went, oh, okay, I get it. And so I now have all the information and he's gonna bring back the official racial justice and social equity commission ordinance to the next meeting ah. and then uh, the uh, citizens budget committee vote oh boy 11 uh, people signed up for three spots uh, on the citizens uh, uh, budget committee and uh, so they had a vote uh, live on zoom they had to do it live on zoom in the committee in the commission during this uh, uh, council meeting and so after about 20 minutes and there were mistakes and ties and stuff and then they all said oh you know what while we're waiting for these votes to be tabulated again uh, let, let's uh Let's hear from the recology report that's supposed to come out. The recology said, uh, guy says, he goes, hey, uh, rate adjustments might be in June. Yeah, good news. And then uh, the landfill, because the landfill we normally use wants more money. And let's wait till June to see how much they really ask for, see how much we have to do. Also, and they also, they also look look at this cool electric garbage truck we got our eye on. And this one goes, oh, oh man, eco-friendly. I love it. It's super seep. We have a like, climate energy action plan. It's going to love that. And uh, oh, that is great looking. And uh, he goes, whoa, 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 not so fast uh how much something like that gonna cost us you know let's just hold our horses and then there's some more discussion to be had because for whatever it is and, they, and oh by the way they're still voting they extended the meeting 15 minutes to get that that citizens budget committee voting straightened out and it's down to six people and they extended the meeting for 15 more minutes they started talking a little bit like about racial quality stuff again but they're all going waiting for this vote to happen and then the time ran out and the budget committee winners were there's no winners, it's down to five, and uh, the meeting ended, so time's up. End of meeting, you're welcome.